welcome to review number four and lesson 141. You are at the Qigong Support for A Course in Miracles students. I'm Judith and you're at the Lucid Mind Center. First, we're going to read the introduction to this review period and then we are going to read our lesson, which is of course very short as it is a review. And then we are going to immediately apply this to a five minute meditation and contemplation as this particular review is suggesting. And this is how we're going to do it for the next 10 days. I'm going to guide you to a Qigong class, which is suitable to review your lesson. Let's begin. Review number four. Now a review again, this time aware we are preparing for the second part of learning how the truth can be applied. Today we will begin to concentrate on readiness for what will follow next. Such is our aim for this review and for the lessons following. Thus we review the recent lessons and their central thoughts in such a way as will facilitate the readiness which we would now achieve. Just want to point out in the first 50 lessons, if you remember, we were mostly learning how the mind actually worked, how the process worked. And then towards the end of the first 50 lessons, we, we started to mm, understand certain influences. And then we started the mind training. And now we are getting ready for the second part of the mind training, which is which there is not so many, still quite a few lessons, very long lessons involved. But then as we are progressing, the, the lessons are gonna get shorter and the introspection is gonna get longer. There is a central theme that unifies each step in the review we undertake, which can be simply stated in these words. My mind holds only what I think with God. This is a fact and represents the truth of what you are and what your father is. It is this thought by which the father gave creation to the, stamp, to the son, establishing the son as co-creator with himself. It is this thought which fully guarantees salvation to the son. For in his mind, no thoughts can dwell but those his father shares. Lack of forgiveness blocks these thoughts from his awareness, yet it is forever true. Let us begin our preparation with some understanding of the many forms in which the lack of true forgiveness may be carefully concealed. Because there are illusions, they are not perceived to be but what they are. Defenses which protect your unforgiving thoughts from being seen and recognized. Their purpose is to show you something else and hold correction off through self-deceptions made to take its place. And this is bizarre how we are doing this throughout our life. For the longest time, we've done it for generations upon generations, we've done it for centuries, millennia, that we are not willing to forgive in the, in the depth of deception that, that we have. It is amazing. I find it absolutely amazing. Even before I started, long before I started reading The Course of Miracle, long, long time, I was about 18 years old or something. I thought it was so strange that we could not remember where we were coming from, that we kind of had not figured that out yet, that we had diminished our existence to this physical existence, that we didn't understand, that we had kind of forgotten. I mean, this is something which I, I was kind of really aware of, that we, we somehow had forgotten where we came from. Like I told you before, I think about I was about thirteen years old or something, and I read the 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 book by Raymond Moody about life after life, where he we had where he had collected the stories of of people 
or interviewed people actually who had near-death experiences. And I think I told you that before. And when I was reading those near-death experiences, I had like an aha moment. I had like a memory. I could remember this. I, I was like, this is exactly how it is. I have been through this. This is the kind of memory I, came to me. And then I was so surprised that we had forgotten it for the longest time. I mean, it was all, I was, I, I had just gone into puberty or it was just before puberty. I, I, I thought it was so incredibly bizarre that we, that we had forgotten that and that we, that, it, that we didn't focus on it in this, in this, in this life. And the deception is so deep. It's amazing, really. So what we, we have to turn this around. So, the way to turn this around according to this review is my mind holds only what I think with God. This is kind of what is going to be our central thought now for the next 10 days. So defenses which protect your unforgiving thoughts from being seen and recognized. These, these are the illusions. They are not perceived to be what they really are. And their purpose is to show you something else and hold correction off through self-deceptions made to take its place. And yet your mind holds only what you think with God. Your self-deception cannot take the place of truth. No more than can a child who throws a stick into the ocean change the coming and the going of the tides, the warming of the water by the sun, the silver of the moon on it by night. So do we start each practice period in this review with readying our minds to understand the lessons that we read and see the meaning which they offer us? Because it's all about meaning. Because it's all about thought. It's all about the way we are thinking and what kind of meaning and intent, intent or intentions we are putting into these thoughts. Every start, everything begins with a thought. Somebody's thought. Maybe the circumstances you find yourself in are not necessarily something you have thought up. You in your conscious mind have thought up. But there is an agreement between you and the person who has thought up the situation for you. Or there is an agreement between you and your higher consciousness to finding yourself in the situation you, you, are, you are in. But it all starts with a thought. This whole appearance of this world started with a thought. And it actually is an amazing experience, I find, the way we can create, the way we have created this. But when you are, for example, in an out of body experience and when you become better at uh, visualizing, are using your visual senses, non-physical senses, you realize that you can create and destroy and create and destroy in instance. So this is just a different form of, cre of creation, um, which appears to be lasting, but it's not lasting. And it just appears for us that it's such a long time because we are in this kind of dream state. Begin each day with time devoted to the preparation of your mind to learn what each idea you will review that day can offer you in freedom and in peace. Open your mind and clear it all of thoughts that would deceive and let this thought alone engage it fully and remove the rest. This is the thought. My mind holds only what I think with God. Five minutes with, with this thought will be enough to set the day along the lines which God appointed and to place his mind in charge of all the thoughts you will receive that day. Of all the thoughts you will receive that day, not just the, the two thoughts which are uh, there for each class, for each lesson. Now, all the thoughts which, which which are going to come to you, you have to remember that my mind holds only what I think with God. 
they will not come from you alone, for they will be shared with him. And so each one will bring the message of his love to you, returning messages of yours to him. So will communion with the Lord of hosts be yours, as he himself has willed it be. And as his own completion joins with him, so will he join with you who are complete as you unite with him and he with you. After your preparation, merrily read each of the two ideas assigned to you to be reviewed that day. Then close your eyes and say them slowly to yourself. There is no hurry now, for you are using time for its intended purpose. Let each word shine with the meaning God has given it as it was given to you through his voice. Let each idea that you review that day give you the gift which he has laid in it for you to have of him. And we will use no format for our practicing but this. Each hour of the day, bring to, you, to your mind the thought with which the day began and spend a quiet moment with it. Then repeat the two ideas you practice for the day unhurriedly, with time enough to see the gifts which they contain for you and let them be received where they were meant to be. So each hour you want to be, you want to remember the two ideas. So I think, like I always said, write it down because then you don't actually just need to read it. You actually might remember it as you're writing it down. We add no other thoughts, but let them be the messages they are. We need no more than that to give us happiness and rest and endless quiet perfect certainty and all our father wills that we receive as the inheritance we have of him let me repeat this we, we need no more than that to give us happiness and rest and endless quiet perfect certainty and all our father wills that we receive as the inheritance inheritance we have of him each day of practicing as we receive um, as we review we close as we began repeating first the thought that made the day a special time of blessing and of happiness for us and through a and through our faithfulness restored the world from darkness to the light from grief to joy from pain to peace from sin to holiness God offers thanks to you who practice thus the keeping of his word. And as you give your mind to the ideas for the day again before you sleep, his gratitude surrounds you in the peace where, wherein he wills you be forever and are learning now to claim again as your inheritance. So he, God wills us to be in his gratitude forever and claim this gratitude as our inheritance. God offers thanks to you who practiced us the keeping of his word. So it says here, we want to give five minutes with this thought in mind. My mind holds only what I think with God. We want to give five minutes of preparation for this. And after we have prepared our mind to be aware that our mind only thinks with God, then we read the two ideas. And then we sit in quiet and wait for what will come to us. So let's prepare ourselves for this class. Come and sit on the edge of your sofa. And put your central channel in place, put a smile on your face, and we're just going to allow ourselves to return back to this instant, to actually become aware of the space our body is occupying. And remember again that our body actually belongs to this earth. And remember that our mind belongs to this divine source. 
that our mind only holds what we think with God. Let's say that. My mind holds only what I think with God. And we really want to become aware of what that actually means. Remember your central channel? Grow the roots into the earth. Grow the roots from your perineum into the earth as well. And really sink this body into this earth because this is where this body belongs to. This body cannot survive without the earth. So when, when this body dies, the mind and the body will just simply separate and the body, body will return back to this earth. But the mind is going to return back to its source. So my mind holds only what I think with God. And how do we become aware of this, of this connection with God? It's because the awareness is deep within us. So we want to sink deep within to our center, which is also the center within our body. This is actually, you've got that physical awareness. If you just move your pelvis, open your eyes a moment. And if you just shake your pelvis, if you just shake your hips, and exhale down. You really become aware that you that of your body. You really become aware that this body is connected to the earth at all times through the gravity. And your body is within the air. Within this atmosphere of the earth. And the earth is within the universe. And the universe. This is where God is. God is everywhere. This within the universe is within this body, is around this body, it's around this earth, it's also within the earth. It's everywhere. So we just want to become aware when we think that we are body, we are disconnected from source and we want to return back to source. So we are just letting go and becoming aware that we have a body, we are not a body, we are just here using this body to manifest things in this world. Very good. And then say again, my mind holds, holds only what I think with God. And then remember the central channel, bring the awareness of this central channel to the center of your body. Exhale, very good. Now we're going to use our hands, inhale through the nose, and reinforce that central channel. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And one more. Last one. In. And ex. Very good. And then connect to the lower Dantian. You can put your hands onto your lower belly can inhale into your belly and exhale, push, push your belly in. And then when you inhale, just imagine that you are like pulling your, the awareness of your holy self, of your holy spirit into, into this space. And exhale. In. And ex. And one more time. Inhale. And X, and then say, my mind holds only what I think with God. Put a smile on your face. And say again, my mind holds only what I think with God. And now let's apply. The, f the two ideas of lesson 141 in this, into this awareness. So the first idea which belongs to lesson 121 is forgiveness is the key to happiness. And the second one is forgiveness offers everything I want. And now just let yourself contemplate. What does this actually mean? Connect to your holy self and just say it again. 
Repeat after me. Forgiveness is the key to happiness. You can just keep your eyes closed. What does this mean to me? And then let's contemplate the second idea. Forgiveness offers everything I want. And what does that mean to me? Forgiveness offers everything I want. Very good. And then just put your hands up on your knees with the intention to receive clarification from your holy self. And then say, my mind holds only what I think with God. And then ask for clarification for our two ideas. Forgiveness is the key to happiness. And forgiveness offers everything I want. Very good. Allow yourself one more minute to connect. And then connect to source. Connect up to the Holy Self, the Holy Spirit, and exhale down. And just say again, my mind holds only what I think with God. Inhale and exhale. And then say, my mind holds only what I think with Source. Inhale and exhale and bring it down. And last one, bring your arms up, inhale above your head, connect to the heavenly source and exhale down. Very good. Hmm. Thank you for participating in class 141 of, of A Course in Miracles. Say thank you to yourself. and. Let's just expand this gratitude into our awareness, into our field of perception. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening wherever I am meeting you. A big chi hug. Love, light and chi to you. Let me know how this has gone for you.